Are you hurt, miss? No, I'm all right. Oh, I... Oh. Oh, it's your ankle. I'm afraid so. Say, we better take off that boot and look at it, see what it looks like. Oh. Oh, I think it's just sprained. Can you move it? Yes. I think I can make it. Let me help you. Oh. I'm afraid you won't be able to use that foot for a long time. You know, your horse got away. And if I could be of any assistance, why, I'd like to give you a, a ride on my horse. Would you? Why, yes. Oh, you've been very kind, and I want to thank you for saving me. Oh, that's nothing. It isn't. Every day that we get a chance to meet a sweet little girl like you. You're a stranger around here, aren't you? Yes, I... I'm a stranger here, you know. Uh, pal and I just thought we'd come here and get a job. Thought we might get a job punching cattle. Pal? <laughs> yeah, that's my horse there. Oh, I see. He's a beautiful animal. Yes, he is. But you haven't told me your name. Steve Hopper is my name, miss. I'm Betty Wilson. Betty Wilson of the Barret? Why, yes. My father owns it. Well, I was heading that way when I saw you. The boys in town told me your father was looking for some cowhands. He is. Well, that's fine. I'll take you right to him. What's happened, Betty? 
I caught the horse, but my cinch broke, and I was being dragged when Steve saved me. Steve? Oh, this is Steve Hopper. Steve, this is my father. I'm glad to know you, young man. Glad to know you, sir. I feel as though I'm indebted to you, and if there's anything well, I yes, can do... Dad. Mr. Hopper was on his way to see you about a job. Well, I guess that can be arranged. I'm Bye. Jimmy! <laughs> and I'm Steve. <laughs> Jimmy, will you help me to the house? Sure. Oh. Oh, may I uh, help, too? Oh, thank you. You better let me carry you in. Say, Mac, come here. Say, fix that young fellow up in the bunkhouse. Who is he, a stranger? Why, yes. Yeah. Why, uh, Mr. Wilson, I don't think it's wise to hire a stranger right now. Besides, with all this cattle rustling going on. Oh, I'll take that chance. Say, so what'd you do about that stock over on the north side? Well, uh, the boys were just beginning to brand them. Well, take care of that young fella. <gasps> Hello, Jimmy. You know, you promised me for a long time. Well, you know, Jimmy, I've been pretty busy there. Yeah, busy seeing sis. Oh, now. No, I wouldn't say that. Well, you know, your sis has been pretty nice to me. Yeah, I bet you're stuck on her, too. Why, Jimmy? Well, she told me last night you are going to ride into town with her. And she always used to ask me to ride with her. Why don't you ride to town with us, too? I can't. Why? Sis has found something for me to do at the ranch again. Oh. Hello, Steve. Uh, Is this boy of mine trying to take you on one of his wild goose chases? Oh, not exactly. <laughs> Gee, Dad. Steve has promised to take me hunting. But Sis is always finding something for him to do around the house. Or either ride to town with her. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you and me, I've been too busy fixing fences. Gee, do you have to work all the time? Well, hey. There's a note from Mac, Mr. Wilson. The rustlers have made another raid. Boys, come on, we're riding. Did you see anything of them? Haven't seen hide or hair of them. Say, if those rustlers don't quit making those raids, they're going to put me out of the cattle business. Well, it looks as if they got away from us this time. I don't know what to make of it. It's funny, too. We followed the trail just as the message said, and I haven't seen them nor the cattle either. The message also said <laughs> that the gang had jumped on them and knocked them out. Maybe Mac wasn't clear in the head when he sent that message. Well, that might be possible. You know, maybe that message was intended to send us on a blind trail. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly, although it does look kind of strange. Mac was my foreman before you, and he's been with me a long time. I don't think he'd do anything like that. I hope you're right, Mr. Wilson.
We'll take the cattle through the divide and stampede them. That'll get them across the line. Then Rollins will pick them up on the other side. And I'll go back to the ranch. But, Mac, why turn them loose? There's a lot of money in those cattle. And why should we let Rollins have it all? You heard what the boss said. And besides, there's more money in oil than there is in cattle. How does he know there's oil there? I'd hate to think that we did all this work for nothing and let this other guy have everything. Say, are you sure you're not getting a cut from Rollins? That, and I'll send you where you won't need money. But I'd still like to play on the safe side. When you're playing for big stakes, you got to take big chances. Why, if Wilson knew I was double-crossing him, he'd drill me right now. I'll, I'll meet you later down at the shack. Now, get going. Hello, Miss Wilson. You see, I've come to see you again. Well, I'm afraid you've chosen a bad time. Father isn't here. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Well, you're very kind. You see, I want to be your friend. I advised your father to sell me this ranch because I believe it's the wise thing to do. Oh, but you don't know Father. He'd be lost without this ranch. He's no longer a young man, Miss Wilson. With the money I'll give him for this ranch, he could buy a small place and settle down and be comfortable. It does seem the wisest thing to do. Why, certainly it does, especially with these rustlers making raids on your father's cattle. I know you want him to be happy. Oh, here comes father now. You'll speak to him again? Certainly. Hello, Grant. Oh, hello, Mr. Wilson. Hello. Oh, where have you been, Dad? Well, I'm afraid we've been on a fool's errand. We thought we had a tip on the rustlers where they were going to work again. But they got away. Hmm, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, Dad, I do wish you'd accept Mr. Grant's offer. I'm so afraid of those rustlers. They're desperate men. Could I speak to you alone for a moment? Why, certainly. Are you trying to buy the ranch again? <laughs> I'm not going to try anymore. I'm going to do it. <laughs> That fella sure can talk. Mr. Grant's awfully nice. He's made Dad a very generous offer for the ranch. I do hope he takes it. A generous offer? Why, if it's worth that much to Grant, it surely is worth that much to your father. It's all right for you to say he shouldn't sell, but in the meantime, Dad's in danger. Well, now, he's always pulled through before, and I know that he'll pull through this time. Oh, but we must think of Dad's... Oh, you'll excuse me for a moment, won't you? Why, certainly. Steve, come here! Oh, wait till I see what Jimmy wants. What? What's the matter, Sonny? Where have you been? Looking for the cattle rustler, same as you. But I found something. You did? Well, I was trying to catch up with you, so I took the shortcut. And I happened to run right across the cattle rustlers. Great! Gee whiz! That's where? They've been cutting out the cattle and running them through the hidden valley. Then when they think everything's safe, they run him over to the divide. Did you recognize anyone? No, I couldn't get that close. You know, if they run their cattle out through the north, they must have a hideout somewhere near there. You're right. And I'm going to find out where it is. You get the boys together. Just a minute, Mr. Wilson. You know, if we take a lot of men up there, they'll have to spot us and get out of there before we get to them. You know, I'll go up there alone and find out where they're at and when I get back here, why, we'll get the whole bunch of them. Oh, can I go, too? Not this time, Jimmy. You've done enough for one day. Now, you want to be careful. Don't take no chances, and I'll see you when you come back. <laughs> I won't.
I don't like this idea of rustling cattle and not being paid for it. You know the boss's orders, and it means a big stake for us if his plans work out. Yeah, but how do we know his plans is going to include us? Why, what do you mean? Once he gets that ranch, he'll be hard to find. It's a swell double cross, if you ask me. But I've still got a hunch. The boss is getting a split from Rollins on those cattle. Say, did you see that ace of spades? Why, what are you talking about? You probably got it up your sleeve. like I sure necked him all right. Yeah, you sure got him. I could use that gun. You heard us talking in the hideout. Hurry up and get him before he has a chance to talk. Come on, we'd better try and find him. The boss will be mighty sore when he finds out we let this guy get away. Yeah, Tex will have a hard time figuring out an alibi for this one. I wonder what he looks like. Do you have any idea what he looks like? Just a cowhand looking around, probably. Seems mighty funny to me. I wonder why he was in such of a hurry to get away. I don't know. Finally got back, eh? Where have you been? I thought I told you to wait for me. Why, we had a little trouble. Trouble? Did you get those cattle away? Yeah, we took them to the divide, but someone located this hideout. How? What do you mean? I caught him listening at the window. I took a shot at him and missed. Didn't you follow? Yeah, we chased him to the forks. We had a fight, and he used his gun and got away. Why didn't you signal the boys? We did. This might help. The man that owns this gun is the man we're looking for. He lost it in a fight, and I found it. Let me see it. Hmm, pretty good. Now listen, if Wilson gets wise, we've got to work fast. We might be able to cut him off before he gets to the ranch. Fox, come here. Now here's what we're going to do. You go down to the ranch ahead of me. Jimmy, Jimmy, stop that noise and leave that lamp alone. What's the matter, Pop? You nervous? Well, no, but don't make so much noise.
I wonder what's keeping Steve. He may have got into trouble. Oh, Dad, you should have sent some of the boys with him. Oh, that's all right. Steve has always took care of himself before. Gee, Dad, maybe Steve's caught the rustlers. Yes, he may have caught the rustlers, and maybe the rustlers has caught him. Oh, no, not Steve. He's too fast. He can get away from bandits, rustlers, anybody at all. Well, I hope you're right, son. Sure I'm right. You don't know Steve like I do. <laughs> Hold on, Jim, will you? What's all the excitement? I gotta go and talk to Mr. Wilson. I'll tell you when I get back. Find anything? Plenty. I found the rustler's hideout. Where is it? Down below the fork of the road. Now, what I want to do is get the boys together and clean them out. No. I'll call the sheriff, or we'll need plenty of help. But, Mr. Wilson, that'll take time. We've got to move fast before they make their getaway. I'll handle this. And as long as I'm running this ranch, I'm still boss. But supposing if they get over... Dad, Steve, that's enough. Well, if he keeps that up, he'll be looking for a new job. I wonder what they're arguing about. Watch it, definitely. The boy, if you get ready to ride at a moment's notice. Well, I'm telling you, you're doing the wrong thing. You carry out my orders or get off of the ranch. Well, what's the matter, Dad? Oh, nothing, nothing. Well, why are you so nervous? Oh, it's nothing at all. Wilson, Sheriff. Stop right where you are. So it's you. Not another word out of you. I just heard a shot over the phone. Hello, Wilson? Did you hear that shot? Yes, where'd it come from? It sounds like it come from the house. Stop being a little man. Come on, we're riding over to Wilkins. Sounds like trouble. Oh, Jim. Take me to the room, please. I'll call the sheriff. Hello? Mrs. Williams? Could I talk to Sheriff, please? Oh, thank you. Grant, what brings you here? Why, Mr. Wilson gave me a binder on this ranch this afternoon, and I was going to give him the check this evening. What's the matter? Well, I was talking to Mr. Wilson on the phone. He started telling me something, and I heard a shot. 
Come on inside and let's see what's wrong. Hello, Steve. Hello, Sheriff. Glad you're here. What's the trouble? Mr. Wilson's been shot. Shot? Yes. Who did it? We don't know. It seems to be somewhat of a mystery. Where's Miss Wilson? She's in the room in there with her brother. Is she all right? As well as could be expected. You know, it is a quite a shock to her. Hmm. It's too bad. Well, I guess we'd better look around. Where is he? In the room in there. I'll take you in and show you. No, Steve. We'll look by ourselves. Whoever shot him, got him head on. Well, I can't understand that. He was pretty fast on the draw, too. Let me see that gun. And he didn't have a chance to fire. That's funny. And I was talking to him when I heard the shot. What's that? Not a word of this. You call the county coroner. There's a few things I want to find out. Boys, it's a matter of formality to check your guns. Let me see your gun. Sure. Yours is all right. Let me see yours. Why, I never carry a gun, Sheriff. That's good. Where's your gun, Steve? I... I lost it. Lost it, eh? Hey? Yes. All right. Uh, Miss Betty. You know what your father was trying to tell me over the phone? Why, no, I haven't any idea. Well, uh, do you know who he was talking to before he called me? Well, yes, he was talking to Steve outside. And when he came in, he seemed very excited about something and went into his office, and a few minutes later, I heard the shot. Oh, I see. Steve. Oh, but Steve had nothing to do with it. All right. What was you and Wilson talking about? before he was... Oh, nothing. Uh, we were just talking about the ranch in general. It must have been mighty important. Miss Betty said he seemed all excited. And why should he call me? Why don't you tell the sheriff what you and Mr. Wilson were arguing about? It might help clear this thing up. Arguing? Arguing about what? Why, we could hear him clear down by the corral. What were they talking about? Well, they were pretty far away, we couldn't understand, but they were plenty sore. Is that so? Thanks. What about that, Steve? Well, you see, I forgot to give the boys their instructions to fix the east fence. Mr. Wilson got a little angry, and we had a few words. A few words? Yes. Folks, there's a lot to be cleared up here. I'll be back in the morning. I'm awfully sorry about this, Miss Wilson. I can't understand why anyone should want to harm Dad. He was such a fine man and so kind to everyone. In fact, I considered him one of my closest friends. Pardon me. How did you happen to be so near when this happened? Why, I didn't want to tell you at a time like this, Miss Wilson. I know you're very upset, but your father gave me a binder to this property this afternoon. I was on my way over to give him the check when I met the sheriff. You mean that Dad sold the ranch? Why, yes. I don't believe it. He wouldn't do anything like that. I'd like to see that binder. Would you? Certainly, I'd be only too glad to. I'm 
sorry. I must have left it at home in my safe. Betty, your father never received any money. So therefore, the ranch belongs to you. Oh, but I have the check, you see. Please, can't we discuss this later? Why, certainly. I should have realized I'm very sorry. May I apologize? I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. If there's anything I can do for you, why, just send your brother out for me. Thank you, Steve. Good morning, Sheriff. Good morning. Where are they at? Uh, in the house and some are down to the shed. Did you find anything? No. Well, before we go in, we'll look around a bit. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Steve, why did you lie to the Sheriff last night? Why, I, uh... Please tell me. Don't you trust me? Why, sure I do. But you see, I have a different theory about this whole thing. But I haven't the proof now. And if I had told the sheriff about the whole thing, or told him the truth, well, it would spoil all my plans. Oh, but don't you see? They might think that you had something to do with it. No, Betty. I have to work this thing out alone. Regardless of what happens, I want you to believe me. Oh, I do, Steve. But everything seems to point at you. I know that. But why is Grant so anxious to buy this ranch? Mr. Grant happens to be a friend of the family. He only wanted to help Dad. Well, I'm not so sure of that. Hello, Sheriff. Hi, Mac. Mac, how far is it from the bunkhouse to the window of Mr. Wilson's office? Why, uh, this is the office window right here. And uh, that's the bunkhouse down there, the second door. You want to see it? Why, yes. OK. Mac! Yeah? Just a minute. I'm going back here. Mac, do you recognize that gun? Why, yes. Uh, it belongs to Steve. Where is Steve? Why, uh, he's down at the corral. Tell him I want to see him in the house. But don't mention finding this gun. All right, Sheriff. Let's go in the house. Steve, the sheriff wants to see you in the house. All right, Mac. Say, Mac, is that the horse you were riding yesterday? Which one? The little bay, chubby. Why, yeah. Well, you know, I seen that horse over the wrestler's hangout yesterday. And I think you're in with him. Why, you... Of all this. Why, he tried to accuse me of being in with the cattle rustlers. Steve, there's a lot you'll have to explain before you're going to start accusing other people. What do you mean, Sheriff? Is this your gun? Let me see it. Yes, that's my gun. Well, the shot that killed Wilson came through the outside window of his office. And that's where I found your gun with an empty shell in it. And I'm taking you to town with us. Put him up. Keep him up. You're not taking me to town for something I didn't do. Jimmy, take their guns away. OK, Steve. Not a move. What should I do with them now, Steve? Put them in the water trough. OK. Not a move. You know what's good for you.
Well, Sheriff, looks like that fellow got away from us. We'll circle back and take the shortcut to the lower road. All I want is my money, so I can clear out of here. You'll do as I say and like it. I told you boys you'd come in for your cut when I closed the deal. Listen, you, you've been talking too much, and you're liable to talk yourself into trouble. Besides, we're safe. The sheriff's after Steve Hopper, and that leaves me a clean opening with a girl. Too clean. You marry the girl, get the ranch, and where does that leave us? Not a bad idea. I never thought of that. Well, I have. Do I get my money? I'm drifting this afternoon. You can't quit now. Maybe the sheriff would like to know who really did kill Wilson. Shut your mouth, Ralph. Maybe you're right, Tex. I'll pay you for the work you've done so you can go on that little trip of yours. Thanks, boss. I knew you'd see me through. Why, sure I'll see you through. Oh! Well, I guess that pays you off. I knew you were ahead of this, and now I can prove it. Well, that's pretty tall talk for a man that's wanted by the sheriff. Only because you and your men frame me. I don't know what you're talking about. How are you going to explain this? Why, self-defense. He was going to kill me. This is one time your smooth tongue isn't going to get away with it. You're going to sign a confession right now that you are ahead of this gang and that you killed Wilson. There's a pencil and paper there, and get it down. And start writing. Now sign your name to it. And if he does, I've got a bullet with your name on it. We were riding into town. Well, I, I'd like to stop by my house and pick up the binder. You see, I left it in the safe. Oh, I see. place you have here, Mr. Grant. I'm glad you like it. Won't you sit down? I'll be a few moments, I'll just get the paper.
Hello, Mac. Hello. Have you got her? Sure. She's a cinch to sign now. Well, uh, what makes you think she's so easy? Hmm. Don't you worry. I'll handle her. You better get outside and see that no one's around. Right. I think you'll find that everything is in order. Now, if you'll just sign there. I'd like to see the binder to the property that Dad gave you. Oh, but it's not important. Just sign here and I'll give you the check. Well, as long as it's not important, why can't I see it? I said it didn't matter. What are you doing there? What are you doing here, huh? None of your business. Leave me go. Come on. Come on. Now listen to me. I told you to sign and I meant it. I won't. I don't believe Dad ever consented to sell. Leave me go, you. Come on in here. Oh. Why, you little brat. You sign that or I'll... Look what I found snooping around outside. Why, Matt, what are you doing here? You see, you're not the only person Mac works for. What do you mean? I'm afraid there are a lot of things you don't know about. I think I'm beginning to understand. You accepted our hospitality, pretended to be our friend, while all the time you were only using us to secure your own ends, you and your gang. Just a minute. Mac, take that kid upstairs and lock him up. Oh, you can't do that. Sit down. Sit down, I said. Now you'll be a good little boy and you can go home a little later. Oh! Why, you look... Please, please, what are you going to do with him? That depends on you. What do you mean? You're pretty fond of that brother of yours, aren't you? You... you wouldn't dare to hurt him. Oh, wouldn't I? I think you'll reconsider now. Will you sign? Now you'll stay here for a long while. For the last time I ask you, will you sign? If you'll let my brother go, I will. All right. Mac, get the kid. How do I know you'll let him go? The moment you sign that paper, we'll put him on a horse and let him go. That's fair enough, isn't it? All right. The kid's gone. I don't believe you. That's a trick. Mac, take a look outside and see where he is.
On your way back, be sure and stop at the store and get me some makings. I'm, I'm just wanting them very bad, you know. All right, please. All right, Sheriff. What are you doing here? Dave got Betty, and they're trying to make her sign a paper. What paper? Mr. Grant lied when he said Dad sold him the ranch. I thought so. And that isn't all. They found oil on the property. Well, where's Betty? Holding her prisoner at Grant's house. Holding her prisoner? My, I've got to get out of here. I'll tell the sheriff. He'll let you out. Oh, no. He'll never let me out, no. Steve, you've got to get out of here. I know it. See if I, if I can just reach that skylight. I can fix that. Jim, Jim. Take it easy, Jimmy. All right. All right, Jimmy, take it away. Whoa! I'll tie that rope, Jimmy. Let me have your horse, Jimmy. Give me about 15 minutes start, then bring the sheriff. But suppose the sheriff won't come with me. Don't worry, he'll come. You tell him I'm out and where I'm heading. He'll be there. He got away all right. Took his horse and turned yours loose. Hmm. He's sure to head for town. We'd better clear out. Well, what are you going to do with her? Before I'm finished, she'll wish she'd signed. I'll never sign. Oh, yes, you will. Mac, you'd better saddle up some fresh horses. We're heading for the border. Right, Chief.
My baby. Steve. What? Well, if the sharp can't take care of you, I guess I can. So you came back for more, eh? Yes, I came back for more. And a few of my friends come back to give you a little more. Steve, this is going to go tough on you. Breaking jail is a serious offense. Sheriff, there's the man you want. What do you mean? He knew there was oil on our land, so he planned the raids on our cattle to force Dad to sell him the ranch. How do you know that? Steve found out about it and told Dad. He was just phoning you when he was shot. What about Steve's gun? <laughs> that was just a plot to throw suspicion on Steve. I hope that can be proved, Miss Wilson. Well, that won't be hard to prove. The gun that killed Mr. Wilson was a 38, and mine happens to be a 45. And another thing, Grant lied about Dad selling the ranch. He tricked me into coming here and then tried to force me to sign this deed. Uh -huh. Is that so? Tom, bring him over here. I think you better go into this. You've got a lot of experience. I'll see you in town in the morning. Well, I guess that just about clears matters up, doesn't it? Yes, I think so. Well, I... I better be on my way. Oh, don't go. I want to tell you something. Yes? Well... What is it? I really don't know how to say it. <laughs>